Today is the day I get to share the new catalog from Close to My Heart. Anyways, enough of all that. This is a new January-February catalog. Everything is available as of July, excuse me, January 1st, 2024. And uh, many of the stamps I've noticed are available already in line, online, excuse me, but now we've got the whole thing available. So we're going to walk through it. A lot of the things I've ordered and I have here in the studio. So we're gonna walk through and we'll get you started. And I also have some artwork I'm going to go ahead and pop up. Um, in between me talking, you'll see some pictures flashing on the screen. Um, if you wanna become a maker, that's what us, what's what us? That's what we're called out in the uh, field. Um, we're makers. And this also gives you information here about becoming a VIP, um, the uh, Brighten the World with Smiles stamp. This is a stamp and the cost of it is uh, $19.95, but $7 of each one sold goes directly to um, children that are born with cleft palate who aren't as fortunate as us here in the United States and need to get some help to get that fixed. So a very good cause. Then here we have what are called the cut aboves. And if you've got someone that is just starting out on scrapbooking um, and needs some guidance or just trying to figure out if this is for them, these are good sets to have. Everything except the pictures and the glue comes in these sets. And let me pull that out for you. Put my catalog aside for a moment. This will come even with, I call them the sheet protectors. There's a better name for them, but you'll see them in here. So there are those. And you've even got picture placeholders. So if you don't know what pictures you want to put in place, you can use these as placeholders. Bear with me, I'm trying to get this all set aside. Here are some directions as to what to do. Then you have all these punch out die cuts. You'll see those are all ready for you to punch out. There's another set for the other page. So in other words, you get to make, I'm not sure I said it, there will be two two page layouts. And as you'll see here, this is already done for you. It's already, these designs are already laid into the paper. So you don't need to worry about that. I've also found that um, these are really good sets for teenagers also. So there's those. So all of that comes in that set. I love that they do that to figure out, you know, you wanna try something out before you invest in a lot of money for a hobby. So these are, are good things for that purpose. So let me put that on the ground. So then we come to the new collection, which is Let's Party, which if you've been following my channel, we've been working with this for a couple days and I'm down now to the, to the little bits and I got not only the scrapbook workshop, but I also got the card workshop. So um, here are the papers and this is the, um, the paper packet. You can order this separately if you just want that. Here are the coordinating papers, if you would like all those, and you get two of each color in that set. Then here you have acrylic um, pieces that come in this set. And then if you wanna do things digitally, if you have a Cricut type machine, these are all SVG files, you can order those. What's nice about these is you can change the colors on everything, you can change the sizes, perfect for um, doing your own thing. I call it going off script. That's what I do a lot. And then, you know, the page is already set up for you, this one page, but you can take these pieces and do whatever you want with them. But if you want to do it just like that, it'll cut it all out for you too. And again, very cost effective. Here is the uh, stamp set for the card making. And this is what that looks like. Um, so again, anything that's in a, uh, like a teal color, that means there's a dye for it. So that is this set right here. 
And then we have this set, and that's the set I've been using almost every day. Oh, well, you here it is. Sorry. So this set is this set, and these numbers, I mean, you could use it on so many things. You really do need this in your stock, and um, or in your stash, whatever you like to call that. So again, you've got thin cuts for the numbers, for the hat, for the balloon, and here for the years and the cake. What I like about this is, I'm hoping you can see this, let me get it in better light. It says, you know, you could go, do like, um, first birthday so there's st here you could do where i was 31st st or if it's a third birthday third and there's a rd here and so forth so a really good set i've used it so much already so i guess this will be my next set i'll have to dive into okay. on to the next page if you order the let's party workshop for scrapbooking obviously um, these are three two-page setups that you get everything in these to do that setup, including, you know, there's a sticker set, there is the die cuts, you have everything here to make that, and including the directions, the cutting directions, and you can also do your own thing, which is what a lot of us do. So I'm looking forward to using this, though, I must admit, <laughs> haven't done that part yet, so... A, a great, great set. Moving on. So now we have the card making workshop. This is one that I cannot wait to use this stamp. Oh, I'm gonna get the shine out of the picture. Look at this one. Look at the script on this. Isn't it pretty? I love that. So that'll be coming up in some cards because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the scraps that I have left from the scrapbooking workshop and I'm gonna use it to make some birthday cards and I'm this is gonna be on the cards. So let me show you too that you have very detailed directions on how to do these. So you can make a, this is called a slimline card. So it's like in a number 10 envelope, smaller than a number 10, but you get the idea it's long and slim. So that's a slimline and bear with me. So these are the four cards you get enough to make in this workshop, the card making workshop. You get enough to make these four cards, but then you get to make four of each card. So a lot of cards you can make with this. And I mean, who, who can't use the birthday card, right? So here are all the directions. These are the cutting directions that people often ask me about. So it'll tell you what color of the paper it is to cut, how to cut it. So there is the card working workshop. This is gonna be a really popular one. This new set is um, called Picture Perfect Day. And it's gonna be good for feminine pages. It's gonna be good for vintage. Myself, I have a picture of a granddaughter who was just born in um, a, like a little ballerina skirt. She's so cute, oh my gosh, just love her to pieces. Um, she will be on these pages. And then I have a grandmother who some of the last pictures I have her sitting and we're holding hands and she had a pink sweater on and I think it's going to be perfect for this. So you will see that coming up in uh, my pages and they'll see some pictures up on the screen for better detail. These are some of the things that you can make or different things you can buy to go with a set. Here you have uh, more of a paper pack if you want more paper than what they give to you. And um, here are the papers a little bit closer up. And here, here is a sticker sheet too. I mean, a camera, sweet memories, a day to remember, be perfect for, let me scoot this down, I'm sorry. A day to remember, perfect for a wedding. So many things that you can use this for. But I see a lot of feminine and um, vintage things you could use with this. Then here are um, some die cuts, and I do have those. And they use the word die cuts, but they really are cut by laser. And let me see if I can show you just how detailed they are. Um, let me, if you look at this, can you see how delicate that is? 
and the detail, like look at this camera right here, the little details that are cut out. So these are actually cut by a laser and that's how come you get that detail. But these are, I believe this cardstock is mink and this can be, again, I think I'm gonna use some of these things on older family members that are male and I think it would be very appropriate to use them. Some of the words here are lovely, lovely day, smile, a lot of scrollies here. So that's gonna get a lot of use for me too. So that's separate to buy outside of the workshop. Then you've got some coordinating cardstock you can use here. Here is the digital set that again, you can download this and do whatever you want with it. Then we have a stamp set and I do have that. So we've got family is everything. Oh my gosh, that couldn't be more true for me than this year. Um, photo memories, captured moments, never forget. You've got a little photo corner here, a flower. Flowers are always can be used. Quite a few little pieces here. There's little stars, some just little embellishments. That would be good just stamped and then second generation stamp. So it's just kind of faded in on your page. So that is that stamp set and it's called Sweet Memories for Scrapbooking. Look at this page right here. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Just a vintage page. Then we've got the scrapbooking workshop. And I'm gonna pull some of this out for you. Let me get rid of this. You once again get your photo holder. So if you don't know which photos you want to use yet, you can use these. You have a few of those laser cuts in this kit. I think it would be good to order additional, the additional ones also, I think you would get use out of them no matter what. Here again are your directions on how to do it or you can do your own thing and go off script. Here are the stickers and these stickers are incredibly thick. I always like to show everyone. Let me see, just, just hear how thick that is. Even this piece up here you could use. Um, a little photo frame here. No place like home. There's some wood, word strips down here. Every day is a gift. Looking good, remember this. Ah, I love it, can't wait to use this one. And then let me see if I can show you some of these papers here. So this is one side. And that's the other side of the paper. Oh, so pretty. Then you have cameras, all kinds of cameras. You could fussy cut these out so easy. I have a lot of travel stuff I need to document. Perfect. The opposite side of this is a journaling piece of paper. Again, great for vintage type photos. Here you have a sweet little green print. And on the opposite side of that, is like a periwinkle print here. And I love the zip strip here. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Isn't that pretty? Then we have, we have, these are the um, die cuts. So you can see how they punch out like that. Gotta be careful with these. These are so perfect. My husband and I went to a farm this last year and saw the farmhouse. It was a thing up in uh, Northern California and did a tour of the farmhouse. This is gonna be perfect for that page. There are those. And these are the single sheets of extra paper. So you've got two of, um, it's like a light green in the background and kind of like a um, filigree type pattern. This is just, it almost has a look, it's a green and a brown in there. It almost has a wood type look. This can be used on some natural type of layouts. Two of those. Here's some more die cuts. Oh, these are so fun. Little pie shaped pieces. This would be fun to take this and punch this out. Use one like every other one. And then what you could do is 
have this as a flip over piece and have a picture underneath it. I love those. And here are your single sheets. Uh, there's the Minx. Uh, I think that's called Raspberry. Uh, you've got two whites and then I have some sheet protectors in there. So quite a few things in there. You'll start seeing those on my channel soon. They estimate that this and the Let's Play collection is going to be their number one sellers for this two month period. And once they're sold out, they're sold out. So would encourage you to, uh, if you want those, get those in your collection as soon as you can. And again, all the shopping links will be down below. Let's bring back in the catalog. Until I get excited about this. Um, here's the card making workshop. Here is the card making workshop. And in here, let me take this out so you can see it. You get all of your card bases and your card envelopes. So there are those, really good quality also, really bright white. Here is the stamp set. And I just, this little doily is gonna get so much use. And again, you can't go wrong with the florals and a little like um, filigree print, I'll call that. And you have a lot of the same papers I had just shown to you in here and your full directions. So that is going to get lots and lots of love. Let's see what we have next. Again, you get enough um, uh, sorry, supplies in this workshop to make 16 total cards. Incredible. And then you'll have a stamp to keep for other things. And you'll see many of us who are makers um, with Close to My Heart. I will use this a lot in my scrapbooking. You won't just see this in cards. Now here are additional papers if you want add-ons to go with those workshops that you have gotten. And I do have those. I happen to be a... Um, Anything that's checkered, plaid, I'm all over it. <laughs> so there, this was a no-brainer for me to get this. And these papers are going to be single-sided. Whoops, maybe I have that wrong. They're not, they're double-sided, pardon me. So here you have like a gingham. And you've got a very faint, hopefully you can see that on the camera. There's a very faint pink line going through this. This one has a little bit of um, uh, distressing on it and a little bit of, it's a little tiny, tiny uh, white line through. This looks like it, the color on here might be um, Bluebird. Don't quote me on that. And then you've got your, um, your strip up here to use. And on the back, it looks like a little sunburst in that same color blue. Here you have like a tan color. I'm not sure which color that is to be frank with you. And a little squiggly line, it's very faint. And then here are like little um, swirlies. Ooh, this one's cute. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It looks almost like a little flower, but it's not a flower on here. This zip strip's really fun too. This zip strip right here is what the little print is if you can't see it on screen. Ooh, I like that. I like that stripe a lot. That'd be a good one for lots of beach uh, scenes you might have. A nice black print. I believe this is charcoal, if I'm not mistaken. And a nice plaid. I like the zip strip again. And again, you could use this for masculine sheets too. This one looks a lot like um, our last collection. Oh gosh, it's probably been two or three catalogs ago called um, oh, Handsome something, Handsome Guy, something like that. Or Hey Good Looking, I think that's what it was called. And this kind of looks like a linen to me, kind of like that was in that collection. Not the same thing, but it looks a lot like it. And this is a really happy print. Reminds me of spring. So a green, the zip strip again is really nice. And these are like a tone-on-tone, 
uh, light green and then these little squares in here um, which is you know a tone on tone a really good one for layering I believe so those are the extra papers you can get if you would like so those are on page 26 and 27 it's called mix in coordinating cardstock and then we jump into the cards and again you can use any of these stamps with your card with your scrapbooking they're all interchangeable so don't let that um, stop you and I'm going to flash up some of these pictures on the screen so you can see these a little bit closer this you're the sweetest is really cute one um, I did go ahead you'll see this in a minute I did get the um, hummingbird stamp you're the very best I'm not usually one for the little sayings like that but this one I had to get because it has the most darling bear in the set I'll show you that will be good for my grandkids pictures of them sleeping or better yet my husband sleeping in his recliner I know you're listening honey <laughs> I love you <laughs> um so here's some more cards so let's jump into them um I will shoot some pictures more again up on the screen and let me see what I have here so I don't have these sets yet. They're not here. Here you have a reindeer and a moose. And um, I will be ordering this one because my son's nickname growing up um, was the moose. He always had to sit in between my husband and I on the sofa and always had to be right there. So there you go. That's our moose. And if you have skiing pictures, some skiing, pulling the sled. And it's like, thanks so much. Snow much. Winter greetings, have a flurry of fun, keep calm and wait for snow. That's what we're doing in Washington right now. It's scheduled for next week. Not scheduled. God's scheduling it, but um, it says it's going to show up. We'll see. <laughs> then we have this, and this is beautiful. This comes as a bundle, or you can order this separately. I'll show you here in a minute. I wanted to show you that this cuts out only the center, not the exterior, so it's perfect for layering. And so what I would do with this is put it up on some foam and then have your piece of paper, your decorative or colored paper, below it on the front of a card or in a scrapbook. And it comes with, if you order it as a set, you also get all of these sentiments on it. And here are, I'll just pop this up on the screen for you too, but some great uses for this stamp slash bundle. So the bundle, let me flip this over. So the floral heart thin cut, so it's just this is one thing. Then the heartfelt thoughts are one thing, or you can order all of those together. Let me pull this out and show it to you. The only reason why this stamp set is in a plastic bag is because it's a, a larger set if you order it as a bundle. So you can just see, let me take it out of this cellophane. It's a very detailed die cut. Perfect for Valentine's Day, a wedding. Take that off, get rid of that. So hopefully you can see how detailed that is. And these are our uh, magnetic sheets that all of the thin cuts come on. And there are all of the sentiments. And it looks like there are two more dies in here for these little flowers. So, slip that back in there. And move it on. So here's the little teddy bears. It's so cute. I mean, look at the artwork on here. Isn't that precious, whoever's child that is? Ugh. Beautiful child. So sending bear hugs, you're the very best. Happy play, sweet dreams, you warm my heart. I'll again put some of the artwork up on the screen. But there is the stamp, and it's called Goodnight Teddy. So cute. This one with his little blanket. Oh, this one's sleeping. Perfect for grandkids and children's pages. So there's that one. Then um, I will throw the pictures up on the screen for this one because I do not have these stamps, but there is a whale in here. There's a fox. 
it says mom or mom and me love welcome baby there's some bunny rabbits elephants a whale it's a cute set now there's this one first i got to thinking how in the world would i ever use this then i remembered that i had just made a trip over the summer to meet my birth family in texas we actually went to fort worth to watch these things walk down the street funny story behind it when i do the page i'll i'll tell you the story but this stamp is so cute so i'm gonna do some pages up for my new family in texas i love you guys if you're watching um and use these and send them some cards they're gonna get a kick out of that so one of the uh stamp says legendary so legend dairy heard you had a bad day and heard is h-e-r-d and thank moo so um anyone who's in texas i'm sure we get a kick out of this anyone who owns a farm love it and the artwork they did on this was i love the tones the dark rich tones beautiful whoever did that setup so there's that stamp that one is called legendary stamp set and there are no thin cuts with this set. It's just as is. I'm going to have so much fun using that. Now there's this one. Now I'll throw some pictures up again of this artwork. It was beautiful. Um, this one is really, really kind of cool. This is a, you could use this for so many things. There's little individual stamps that one says Girl Scout, one says Boy Scout. And they're little tiny, they call them these M series. So they're like two by two, um, these little plastic envelopes. And hopefully you can see in there, the word like scout has little things in it that represent the Boy Scouts. So there's one with a hat on it. There's the Boy Scout emblem. There's a little fire. There's marshmallows. And so kind of the same thing with the Girl Scout, except you've got... Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to get the light right. You've got Girl Scout things instead of Boy Scouts. But then you have this camping set, which is intended to go with the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, here's camping. Who doesn't do some mores when you're camping? Um, there's the Scout sign. There's a backpack. There's like a um, compass. And on here, if you wanted to get these stamps, which are very inexpensive, these are $4.95 each, you could take this and cover up that and then just use that where it says girl or boy and use that in any birth things that you have going on. Um, so we're saying it's a girl, it's a boy. You could use those for that. So hats off to uh, Close to My Heart. They did a great job with those, as usual. Okay, on to our next. Oops, here was the thin cut I have for that. Or the set, excuse me, the stamp and thin cuts. Maybe it'll help you see it a little bit closer, all of those things. And look at all the thin cuts that are in there. I love it. And then troop life, you wouldn't necessarily, again, you could cover up troop and just do the stamp underneath, which says life. And in it, you have a um, a picture or a, um, I can't find the word right now, a silhouette. There you go, of a tent and some trees and a forest fire, not forest fire, <laughs> fire, excuse me, um, you could cover that up and just use it like that. I love that. All right. Now we're going on to this stamp. Um, I happen to love photography, and several years ago, I got a great picture of um, some hummingbirds in motion, and that's exactly what I thought when I saw this picture. And my husband happens to love birds, so I thought we would have a lot of fun with this. So here is that stamp set. And look at i mean thin cuts you can get into so much detail on these with your coloring i'm gonna have a fun with that unfortunately i think i'm gonna be pretty detailed about that which is gonna take me a while because i the coloring is just gonna make this stamp i think so and then the sentiments on here are sweetest spread your wings wishing you well hello and then you're the so you could say you know you're the sweetest and um there you go Got a good a good card or a scrapbook there. Love that one. Um, I don't have this one, but this is a good stamp if you're into exercising, you're into meditation, you're into yoga. I think about my daughter-in-law who's very much into uh, to yoga. So she'll 
she'll appreciate this one. So we've got like your exercise mat here. You have someone doing yoga or meditation. You have some candles here. This says mind, spirit, body. We don't give up. We set up, step up, excuse me. Um, a water bottle here. It says stop living on autopilot. Start living on purpose. Wow. That's a great saying. You've got a journal here. I know a lot of us journal. I know I do. So I don't have this one. I may have to pick that up. Here are some ideas on how to use those stamps. I will flash these pictures up on the screen for a minute so you can take a look at them. The slimline one here that says spread your wings is just beautiful. I like that. And good things are coming up here in the left-hand corner. Then we have a celebrate stamp. And I have that. And it says celebrating our anniversary, your retirement, your graduation, your birthday, and then love everything. And there's a heart with the word us in it. And they're very large for making titles for perfect. I love these for making a title and scrapbooks. You could also use these on slimline cards. Um, they're a little too wide to use on your A2 cards, but if you have a slimline card, perfect. So a good addition, which is also very inexpensive um, for your stash. And you can kind of see there how they've used that. Fun. And this is your add-on paper that I had shown to you earlier with that Pardon me, the blue stripe in there. My husband retired this past year, so I'm going to have to pull out his retirement information and pictures and make a scrapbook page for him. Then this is one I'm going to go back and get. Um, we sold our truck this year in our RV, so I want to document all that. We had some great times um, with our RV, but it was time to let it go for various reasons. Um, so there's that. Some great cards you can make. And these little... Um, words here are meant to be stamped into the license plate here. So you've got great dad, happy birthday to you, 16, hot rod, <laughs> 16 is cute for a 16th birthday and they get a car. You rock, miss you, blessed, classic, um, hugs and kisses, um, love you to pieces, you are great, you are number one, hugs, best, best dad, way to go and enjoy. And some other stamps here. I did not get these. There's one that says sunny days ahead, winter wishes and snowflake kisses. That would be really good for a snow picture or in your scrapbook and just stamp that next to one of your photos. Then these um, need a little bit of explanation. They are these stamps, which are smaller stamps and you can buy one or, you know, one, 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 or one. Um, they're not all one set. They're smaller stamps. And here are also some die frames that you can purchase. Um, you've got like a stamp set, you have a window, um, not a stamp, it's not a stamp, it's a die cut. So a window, like a stamp, um, this is just a scalloped frame, and this is like a Polaroid frame. So I got the stamp set, or the one that looks like a stamp, excuse me, I've got to stop saying that. And here's the one that um, is a Polaroid. So once again, here is the one that looks like a stamp. Here is the one that's like a Polaroid. And this is great for documenting down here. And I could see a lot of these on one page being laid down like this and have, you know, some dimension on them with some foam dots. Looking forward to using those. And again, those are all very inexpensive. And... I mean, these are just great everyday things to have in your stash. Then we have, these are just different sentiments, um, which I did purchase, which are great. Um, and you can use these again, cards or scrapbook. Um, there's say yes to new adventures. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. You make me happy. Remember this moment. Always something to be thankful for. You have my heart. Celebrate everything. Good things take time. Life is beautiful. Ride. <laughs> is that what it says? Life is a beautiful ride. There you go. Didn't make sense for a while. Remember always and forever how lucky we are. This life is blessed. So true. It's the little things. 
That's so true. You learn that the older you get. Living the good life, friendship, wild at heart, our story, choose to shine, you and me, and captured memories. I mean, you could use this on so many things. So this is a stamp set. And here you've got pictures of it in use. And here you're back to the die cuts, the one of like the stamp. When I say stamp, like a U.S. stamp. <laughs> the Polaroid. Again, so many ways of using that. These are die cuts that are pre-cut out like the laser cuts that for titles. And I didn't order these and I saw someone with them the other day and I am gonna go back and get these. I need to be perfect. And very inexpensive. I mean, you get so many in a package for very little price. Then we have an alphabet of two kinds. You have this one and you have this one. And these are just stamp sets, there are no dies. And um, each of these, I know this one is two by two, the biggest one. And then the shadow one uh, is a two by two, it looks like. So, and it shows you some detail, and I'll throw this up on the screen, of what you can do with these letters. This one for like Valentine's Day or an anniversary is really cute. Then we have our stamps of the month, which I kind of started off with at the beginning of the video. And this will be your January stamp, so you can only order this in January and no other time, and then it goes away. And then you have this one, which will be February. Here is your January. And this, again, so many uses for this. And if you didn't want where it looks like it's been pulled out of a notebook, of F out of a spiral notebook. You could just take that and cut that off, but I think it adds a lot of texture. Um, this one says goals, the best is yet to come, adventures, the magic of new beginnings, beautiful new beginnings, and then there's this little squirrely arrow, um, and which is a die cut also. So there is the January one. I mean, just good basic stamp to have in your set. I like that. And this is one everyone's going to have to have because it's a flower and every flower and every leaf, this is a February one, has a die cut that goes with it. I mean, you could use this in so many places. Where I could see this being used is on the one set that I had mentioned previously um, that is very vintage. It was the second scrapbook workshop I had shown to you, I believe. So this is the February stamp jump on this because I know this one is not going to last. And in fact, I might be giving one away. So if you want to join and you want to join us on a subscription here and, and join us on all these uh, stamping adventures we're doing, then uh, make a comment below and I'm going to be giving one of these away come February. And I'm just going to put all the names in a hat for all the comments until then, until February.